Luke is a 24-year-old male with Broca's aphasia. He enjoys running, playing golf, and fishing. Luke graduated with a construction management degree, and before his stroke, he worked as a project manager. Over the course of the semester, Luke and I will work on his memory, reading, and writing skills. Today, Luke is going to make a choice on which story he would like to read. My three options I brought today were The Camino Winds, Cross Country, and the last one I have is an article from the newspaper. What's it called? Uh, the article is called Third Septic to Sewer Project Begins. Okay, and which story are you going to read? I'm going to read the article from the newspaper for you guys. And why did you choose that? I chose this because it pertain pertains to my degree I got from Indiana State, and it's an interest of mine. Okay, so now Luke is going to read a few paragraphs and then summarize what he read and then relate it to his life. Construction on Charlotte County's third septic to sewer project began Thursday at Hallett Circle on Ackerman Avenue in Port Charlotte. The 23 million water quality project affecting 1,760 properties is beginning with water line extensions before proceeding to sewer lines. Commissioners signed off on $565,659 in cost adjustments Tuesday. Even with the adjustments, homeowners will still be paying the same amount approved several years ago, which is 575 a year for 20 years. That's the subsidized cost for property owners who lived in the county's oldest waterfront zones without sewers. Located on Charlotte Harbor, where the Peace and Micah Rivers meet, Ackerman is the third neighborhood to require residents to abandon their septic systems. The other two are El Gabin on the Macken River and the Spring Lake neighborhood, neighborhoods to the north. El Gabin is nearing completion and, and Spring Lake is done. Okay, so what was that about? Summarize it a little bit. Basically, um, they're going to go ahead and start the project that they've been talking about well, apparently like 20 years ago because... They're still going to be paying the same amount that was approved back then, which is going to be 575 a year for 20 years. And how does that relate to you in your life a little bit? kind of relates to me because I once helped do on septic and sewers for, as a project manager, so it's just kind of nice reading more about it and what's going on everywhere else in the world. Okay. So now Luke is going to send a text message to his friend and recommend this story to his friend and tell him why he enjoyed the story and why he thinks his friend would also enjoy the story. Just about a paragraph long. And then I'll look it over and make sure everything is correct. And then <clears throat> now I'm going to pull up a list of tools that um, construction workers use a lot or he used to use. And I'm going to have him like read them off to us and then um, explain to us kind of what you do with them and what he thinks is the most uh, useful to what is the least useful. So the, here's I have the list pulled up. I don't know if you can see it. But. I'll start with the hammer. Hammer I basically use to anything driving to a nail to sometimes pry nails out when doing wood framework. Hammer definitely is very useful and I'll, I have a tool, a tool belt on for work, I always have a hammer on my side. Next, a measuring tape on a scale of 1 to 10, probably 12 because you're always using measuring tape. And I always got one on my, 
on my belt no, no matter where I'm going. Even though I'm not working, I always have one with me because it comes very handy all the time. Say so ladder. Ladder definitely is very helpful when we're having to reach high places, especially when doing drywall or maybe you're just painting or doing trim work above a window where you can't just stand from the ground. You need a ladder to reach up and reach it. Very handy. Another one, I'm going to say, we'll do, a, we'll do a screwdriver. Screwdriver definitely comes very good handy in doing like just a little electrical work and stuff like that. So, so one to four, where would you place all of those? One being the most useful and four being the least. One, I go measuring tape and then I'd probably go ladder as, you know, and hammer as two ladder as a three and a screwdriver as a four. Okay. Thanks.